Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide an overview of how you can do scenario planning within resource management by Smartsheet using the capacity planning view. Now, I've done a more in-depth uh, overview of the capacity planning previously, um, as well as a further video on resource management overall. So if you want information on those, please check out the other videos. And But in this one, we're going to go into some scenario planning. So just as a quick reminder, please do, if you assume you get value from these videos, please do like and subscribe or let others know about it so that they can also unlock their potential and achieve more with the Smartsheet. And that is our passion to help people around the world achieve as much as they can within Smartsheet. So please do get in touch. Um, and that's what we're here to do. So without any further ado, let's dive into the content. So if we go to the capacity planning view in resource management, then you can see at the moment, actually we've got plenty of capacity for new work to come in, in various teams. And the best way that I see to do this is to have a sheet. I always like to use Smartsheet with resource management um, is it's easier to get the projects in that way. And in here, I've got a sheet which I've called new projects capacity plan. And by using this, I can do various things. For example, I can copy this uh, set of tasks and create additional new projects down here. And this is, say, for various teams here. So I'm just going to copy the training developer and place it there. Um, and on that side, just put these in, just correct these ones. Okay, so just going on to these ones, we can say if this is a standard project for a training developer and when's it due to start? So this one's due to start on the 5th February. We actually have another project called, let's just call it project three in this case, and this one is project four. So, and what kind of capacity do we have if we were to take all these projects on at that moment in time? Well, if I go back to the view and resource management overall, we can see this from a capacity plan in terms of what impact that has had. And again, we're seeing, okay, there's still capacity for these projects on this side. Now, if, for example, this project actually required two resources, so I'm gonna put 200% on this case and just crank it up across the life cycle. So we'll just see what's gonna happen here for the training developer. And again, if I just go in, training is now at capacity on this side. So what we've got is we've got a way of being able to have this as a project and start seeing this as um, a way of scenario planning. And because you're not setting up individual projects each time, it's very easy to take these out again. And if I'm just going to remove these from a capacity planning, or before I do that, I'm just going to change the date of this one and say, actually, we're going to see what happens if I move it out for this date here. And does that make any difference? In reality, it's not because this is going to be too much. If I just reduce that down to one person um, on this side for the duration, we'll see what the implication is for this project overall. So if I refresh, we should see that there's actually a bit of an improvement and we've still got some challenges. But the idea here being that by having a separate sheet, you can kind of do some scenario planning here that makes it very easy. One of the features I've added into this is you'll see that the project is listed and then it's got the various stages down, down below. To make it easier visually, I've actually put some conditional formatting, which is about the, for the colors for the stages. More importantly, what I have done here is so that when it comes through in terms of for, in the actual heat map, you can see the tasks when they show up. On these, you want to actually see, it's the new project's capacity plan and we can see that it is watch project, project two diagnose or project three diagnose. Now, when things come through in resource management onto this view, you see the project name and then you see what the task is on this side. So to make that work, what I did is rather than having, so that's the task name, rather than having to type it out each time, I put the name of the project and then this is a formula which joins the name of the parent and the actual task here. So that's why you'll see this column duplicated, but it therefore means it, it works so much better in resource management. And your whole point here is to be doing capacity planning. So this is quite an easy way to do some scenario planning on this bit. Again, if we want to take this project out, I'm going to just delete this project here 
And if we actually want to add in a series of other resources who might be involved in this one, so we're actually going to have solutions here, we're going to have production planning, and we're going to have DevOps um, in this one as well. So these are all resources are all required on this project. Very easy just to plan on this side. Now, clearly, you could also choose to put an individual in as well. So if I know that, for example, Rich Coles is going to be involved in this one, then Rich is going to be on that one. And I'm just going to say Rich will be involved in that one 20% of his time. So this way, then, we're just doing a bit of scenario planning. And we're going to see what happens as a result of that scenario planning. Let's just go back to the capacity plan. And we can see, OK, it's not looking so bad. Let's zoom in by week and just see what's the implication of this overall. So we can see the training team, they're over allocated. What's the cause of that? And it's the new project capacity plan. And we can see that's 50%, which is causing the problem. And we know that the team, there's only capacity here um, for Fiona on that side. I trust that provides a view where you can see how you can do some capacity planning within Smartsheet and some scenario planning to boot as well, just using the sheet and the capacity planning feature as well. So I hope that's worked for you. And any ideas, any thoughts, any enhancements, please do let us know. Um, again, it's all about getting the most out of Smartsheet. So thanks for watching and more videos on resource management to follow. Bye for now.